Okay, folks, I will put the link to this up. Okay, we've been down here before, or at least I have. I've looked at McGuire. I've looked at a lot of stations before, and I haven't really been looking at them too much. But someone was showing me one today, and I thought I was going to see wave action. And there probably is, if you watch, there probably is some wave action. But check out what the heck gets blotted down at 12.20 p.m. on the 11th. Okay, and I think that's Antarctic time. Uh, I think it's local Australian Antarctic Division time there. Either that or it could be UTC. It doesn't really matter too much, but you'd be able to figure it out. You can go to the, I'll give the site from our Guaya Island Station, but check what's out right here. Now, I got this froze. Take your snapshot and take a snapshot, okay? Take a snapshot right now because I can't zoom this up any more than this right here, okay? And then I'm going to give you some data that there was almost just a, a pube hair of 0.100 something below two meters of a rise of water uh, of the height of and it's actually still pretty much steady right now so there's been a massive rising of floor at least somewhere with that 8.7 which basically I had some people from China they looked at their magnetic uh, magnetometers and the 8.7 quake was registered at like 8.9 in uh, China go look at my video my one, one before this and I, I got 8.7 today's date in uh, the quake. I didn't put Beano Black behind it. Okay, this is an unusual object that we've seen. Also seen stuff like this uh, black uh, light from outer space. Okay, and basically what it is is it's light. I mean it's light energy. Okay, and there's black light energy. We've been seeing the and they're somewhat. I agree that they're holograms. Okay, they are shadows from stars that turn around real uh, rotate real fast we've already know that the uh, French uh, telescope over in Brazil I think or somewhere uh, north yeah I think it's somewhere in nor North South America okay uh, basically found a star that is turning around 300 times faster than the Sun rotating around 300 times faster than the Sun and then NASA sits there and says it's only rotates a hundred times and everybody's butt basting NASA ladies and gentlemen I love NASA, but at the same time, I've been, you know, the upper higher arc, upper echelon that doesn't want to let certain things be known. Uh, this is all light propagation from outer space, okay? Now, I'm going to go show you the data real fast, and then we'll play this video. I guess we'll play this real fast. Let me just play this. I'll hit play here, and you'll end up seeing that come up in the screen, okay? You will get that light. And yes, it's a it's a webcam, okay. And I got it back at the front, and then you may I got enough time in this video. We'll just and you you may be able to notice something to do with the, the rising of the water, but I don't know. You'd have to be watching this a lot before or something. But the idea that that hologram object and a lot of that light that is coming down because that is light propagation that you are seeing in this webcam, okay. The webcam doesn't have streaks, okay. A bird didn't poop on it, okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm sure there'll be somebody as well. Hey, in 1996, we had a bird poop on the on that camera. Okay, this is light propagation. Okay, light propagation coming down. Okay, onto Earth, and we've seen it at webcams all over the world. Okay, I'll get back to the daylight here. It'll it'll play fast enough. And as you see earlier, it's clear, and they don't play it on a videotape and play it back. Okay, it's not on tape. No, it's not on a scratch CD. <laughs> this is actual light propagation. Okay? And you get that image that I originally started the video with. It was frozen. Okay? So interesting stuff all over the webcams all over the world are worth watching, folks. It's wild stuff out there. Okay, let me show you the wild data of almost a 2-meter surge, which would be almost like 6 feet of surge of water. Pretty darn close to 6 foot of water surge. Okay? Let me go show you that. Now, this is where I pull the data, and basically that's the one. I think you can see it pretty good. I'll blow it up a little bit so you can see the one that I picked out. And basically, it was the second one I went to. And actually, the first one I went to might have had a surge about that height, too, anyway. I'm not really worried about too much. I'm just going to show you a surge pattern real fast that's almost 2 meters, okay? It's that one there that I took from Australia. Now, remember, I was showing you the data before that their, their computer animated would basically show that Africa over here which is also over here. Uh, they got the map spread out, okay? But Cape Town, 
somewhere I believe is down. Well, anyway, I don't. I know it's in Africa. I'm not worried about where it's at right now. But remember that information I gave you about Cape Town would get a wave at 2100.09 minutes. Okay, 2109. Okay, today UTC Zulu time. I don't even know what we got for Zulu time right now. So I just refreshed this, and they had this 5.5 quake aftershock, and they've had a bunch of 5 point all the way, you can imagine, 5, 1, 3, 4, 5, all kinds of. It was an 8.9 registered somewhere in China, okay? I think we can somewhat trust them. When someone sits there and says, hey, it hit at 8.9 at us, and then it was 8.7 no matter what I showed you the info in the, in the video just before this. So go to my videos, watch the video just before this one. And you can you can see the ring. So it was at 8.7 for damn sure here, 8.2 on this ring here. Okay, and then uh, this is the time right now. We're 2024 20, UTC. So at 21 on the projected computerized data on the water and the weight and everything that they've done for years, then they've got that data down that they figure a surge with that with that size of a quake would have a wave in. Uh, Cape Town, Africa, at least they'll have some sort of a wave. You'll have a little bit of higher or a ripple of water or something at about 2107. I might be wrong. That might be 2109 minutes, 2109 or 2107. Uh, look at the data that I showed you in the video before this one in Cape Town, South Africa. Okay, If that projects out and we can trust those computer images, which is what I'm going to show you for wave height. If two meters is almost six feet, check this out. So I'm pretty sure I'm flapping the video together real fast. So when I go to the data on the buoy, okay, we go to the buoy, and these buoys are out there, and then the satellites read them, and just like a wireless cell phone call, track anything, okay. So then we go to it, and we got 5662.639 height in meters of water in that area, okay. But check as we go down to the data, okay, and now i got to start realizing the look at the clock, okay, but it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Because no matter what, whether this is fresh, fresh or the old data, I'll know in a second, I guess. Let me see what it is. The water column heights from 411 to 412, 12, yeah, to 12, 2012. Okay, so right there, 1741 to 1741 from 1300 hours. So yeah, from 1300 hours. So I am correct. The idea that it rose almost two meters. Because check it out, 56. Let me blow this up a little bit so you can see it better. We'll get to 200. I've never been on this site before. We'll be down here, and then we'll zoom back down, and we'll show you that the meter height was 5660.763. Now, folks, two meters is almost six feet, okay? Actually, it's more than that because it's three point something feet is a meter, okay? It's 3.2 something to be, you know, almost Nat's ass, okay? So... 56, 60, 73, and we go through the clock, and we go all the way up to the, the last reading that was at, that we have. I didn't refresh the page before we were here, but I ain't worried about a few minutes' time. So at 2 meters, 2 height meters, from 56, 60 something to 56, 2.639, okay? And this is our date, and there's our military time, 100 hours in minutes, okay? So... There has been a surge of water, whether it's a wave or not. And remember, I told you before that it should be like 322 miles an hour that that wave will move if it ends up ballparkish, 322 miles an hour if it ends up over in Cape Town, South Africa. Okay? So data bleeds true, and Bino's digging the data. And that's what I do for when I'm doing my troubleshooting and stuff like that, doing my electrical stuff. Data. Look at the data. What do we got? What do we got? What's going on with that motor? Okay, so there we go. We got a two meter. I'll even slow down zipping through as I am showing you the data. Okay, so we'll go slowly. We'll track down slow, and you'll realize by looking at the times and the deal that they ended up with a almost that's right folks two meters is almost is at least six feet okay so someone can put a comment in and get it down to the gnat's ass of how tall the water was that it rose and it is currently right now that i know of and i showed you my utc time this is a few hours this is what four about four hours behind so 56 60 70 you know there's your meter height there at 1300 hours which is one o'clock in the afternoon there or UTC time, whatever they've got. And then you have, so we've got a six foot rise in Wata. Okay? 
So a wave or what? And then, then let's look back at also the data of there you go. It doesn't look just like a wave. It looks like straight up that the water rose six feet. Now that's a big, you know, uh, I do not, and then I suppose we got high tide and low tide and stuff like that. But then you'd have to go with what would normally be a high and low tide right here. And I do not believe that you get six feet that fast, okay, on a normal low and high tide, okay. So I guess basically someone can try to, try to discount this information and go and say, well, the high tide is this and that at that time and stuff like that. So we'll, we'll see what someone can dig up. But otherwise, we look like we had a six-foot rise in height there. So I'll uh, see if I can throw something looking at uh, anything in Cape Town. I mean, it, basically, people need to watch Cape Town because that's going to be another half hour out, something like that. So...